Hi, this is Petey at Bergsburg Arcade at BergsburgArcade.com, and we're still on tutorial 243, our little catch-up uh, series and from scratch. And today we're going to be looking at the hierarchy, uh, the way we have the hierarchy set up in our resources folder for our items. Uh, so this makes it part uh, T, I believe. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And we'll clear this off. And let's just go ahead and look at our resources folder. And if we open it up, we have a character GUI and one for prefabs. I'm going to be creating another one here called items. And if you actually want to just see where we're where we're looking up these uh, the paths that we need, we have them saved in our game settings too. A script. And if we come down here, uh, the resources path. So as we take a look here, here's our character stuff, our faces, our models, and here's where we start with the item icons and the item meshes. And then of course inside of those we also have uh, weapons and armor and it looks like that's all we've added so far then of course we have our weapons broken down into melee and ranged uh, currently we're still only working with melee weapons and in our armor it looks like we only have shields and helmets set up so far uh, so let's go ahead and construct uh, that little hierarchy here so I'm going to go back into unity and I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and it was item or items uh, blue is item I try to keep it singular and we got icon and mesh in there so I'm actually going to duplicate this uh, make it a child and call it icon duplicate it and mesh and I'm going to double check just to make sure icon mesh great so I'm going to start off with the weapon one so I'm going to come in duplicate again and just call it weapon and I'll duplicate one more time and I'm going to drag one under icon one under mesh now the one under mesh has to be renamed and now that I think of it, I should have actually just made another one right away underneath it uh, for melee I'd say me having to cut and paste and do it again uh, but anyway I put it in the wrong spot Let's go here. I'll rename it just to melee. We'll stick it under weapon over here as well. And of course, if you have your ranged ones already created as well, I do have them made. I just haven't actually added them in the script yet. Uh, go ahead and make your ranged one here. But that's it for that. Um, let's see, I'm also going to need armor. And only if I spell it right. And I'm going to do the whole hierarchy up here. So I'll create another folder. And I believe it was shield and helmets or hats or something like that. Uh, looks like I'm just calling it heads. And I've gone ahead and actually used plural here. And I really want to switch it to singular. So I'll do that again after we're done out of this series. I'll have to come through and clean some stuff up. Uh, it just makes it easier to remember when you keep everything singular or plural and I tend to lean towards singular but anyway heads and shields so that means I will need to make that a plural and heads so I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate that and I'll just drag it into the meshes and rename it to armor and when I open it up it should already be done heads and shields Great. Uh, that's all we have done so far. So what do we put in there? Well, I'm going to start with the icons. Uh, Fro games might actually come with icons. I'm not sure if I made my own. I think they do come with icons, but I might have made my own anyway. Uh, so I'm going to go into the dungeon pack and yeah, I think I, I think they do come with it, but it's in a different folder and it's not imported into the package. Uh, but I remember either tweaking them or making my own. I'd, I'd have to check anyway. But all I really did is just make a texture. And let me actually go grab one out of my other folder. Uh, it's off screen here. So I'm just going to go in, go to the armor. Uh, which one are we in over here? Let me just shrink this down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually grab the whole... Well, I'll grab some heads. So I'm going to come to the armor icon... Oh, sorry, our icon, armor, and heads. And I'm going to grab all of the, the files. And mine are actually PSDs. 
uh, simply because I'm still working on them. So if we open these up, here we go. I've got the Squire cap, the Sailor, uh, the Robin Hood one, uh, which someone actually did tell us what the name of it was on the YouTube channel, but I forget already. So, <laughs> And if you notice down here, they're 128 by 128. Uh, you can go ahead and make them smaller, and I probably will. Uh, I just wanted to have them as big as possible to start off with. And, of course, we have the bandana. And go ahead and actually do the exact same thing for all your your items. Uh, like I said, these are PSDs. These are just Photoshop files uh, went in. And I'm pretty sure I, the base mesh part here, or the base picture, I, I Pro Games did come with it. But even if it doesn't, just uh, go ahead and make your own icons. It's Use a, any sort of paint program. And for the meshes, we actually have the meshes already. So I'm going to come up to here. And wherever it is you stored your meshes in your project folder. So for me, it's going to be under objects. And I believe they called them all hats. And if we scroll down, they did. And it looks like there's four, oh, six hats. Now we are going to have to rename these to match the name of uh, our icons. And let me just actually go in. So there's icon. I want to go into mesh, heads, and we'll just drop them all in here. Now we actually have this saved in a list, and that list should be in the item generator. I've talked before about moving it out, uh, and I probably will. I just for now, I I've still have it in my item generator because it's really only ever used uh, when something needs to be generated, but. Ideally, I generally like these arrays all in one list or even in a config file uh, that we can load up later. But for now, here it is. Small shield, large shield. If you have more, add them. If you have, you know, you have less, take some out. Uh, if you've got them named differently, uh, um, just come in here and change the names. Uh, but since I actually copied the icons, the icons already have the real names. So I don't actually have to rename all my icons. I can just uh, keep those the same and work off of them. And just to make sure I got the proper spelling, I'm actually going to cut and paste. I'm going to come down here, find the bandana. And here it is. And just rename it. And I'm going to go through for each of them. So I believe this is pronounced Heum. It's going to be one of the helmets. And of course, it's the second one. And I'm actually going to shrink some of this up just so I'm not bouncing around as much. And the next is a pirate hat. So I'll come down. It's got to be one of these, right? There it is. And Robin Hood hat. Which had a really bizarre name. I really wish I did remember, but I don't. So here we go. And all that's left is hat two and helmet. So sailor hat I should have checked yep and the last helmet which they call the skull cap or squire cap great uh, I didn't bother tweaking anything down here everything should have already been set up for you uh, for your mount points and everything else so let's go ahead and actually start the game or I guess more importantly let's go ahead and actually go to the scene that we need to be on so we'll go under scenes, head to tutorial, start it back up, and let's go run over to one of our chests. And in this scene, we only have one. And I'm going to open the chest. And take a look at all the things we got. We did not get any hats. Uh, all the rest of the items are the exact same, so let me just keep doing this till we actually find a hat, because it probably will look quicker than actually going through and recreating all the stuff I've already done. I think I might have to actually increase the distance at which I can click on this item. Oh, but here we go, we actually got three hats here. Uh, okay, so the next thing I want to look at is the actual uh, GY part that we're actually using to outline our items here, and we're using a skin for that. Uh, so that'll be in our next tutorial. But anyway, as you can see, we now have hats, and we'll loot all that stuff. There's actually more in the chest. 
There we go. There was one other item in the chest that we haven't got an icon set for. But once you do, all the icons will show up. Uh, let's hit our inventory. And we'll notice that we actually have some items showing up. So we, all, we had a weak sword in there that wasn't showing up. Uh, because we don't have an icon set for it yet. But we have the rest of the items. And if we click on it, uh, don't really have the lighting set up. But everything should mount right. Uh, provided you've been following along up to this point. And if we open up our character panel, I haven't uh, put a spot for our our actual uh, headgear. The only spot we actually have here is our weapon slot. So that's something we're going to have to address later on as well. Uh, probably when we come through and redo our character panel. Uh, but anyway, everything hooks up. Uh, do the exact same for the rest of your items. And in our next show, we'll take a look at our little GUI uh, skin that we're using. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.